So joining us now, former NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez. Jose, great to see you. Thank you for your time. So we don't Hello, yet Nicole. have Happy the details, here. but we heard from Sean Duffy there. What do you think it would take to actually put a nuclear reactor on the moon? Oh, first of all, Nicole, you could not have gotten a better guest than myself. Having spent 16 years at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, one of the defense uh, labs that deal with nuclear material, I think it's, uh, it's about time that we explore this possibility and make it into reality. Los Alamos, for example, National Lab is already working on a design. There's small companies that are working on designs for 100 kilowatt systems that weigh about 10 tons. I think this is an effort where the Department of Energy Los Alamos National Lab and a small company get together and fast track this effort because each of them have key elements of technology that will make it work. All right, Jose. So, so you do think this is a realistic goal. How long do you think it would take, though, to, to make this a reality? Well, I was just in Los Alamos and uh, and I was uh, reviewing one of their projects of, uh, of, of a design for a small reactor. And I think that if we put the right resources together in uh, about Four years, we can have a system that can be ready to be shipped off into uh, the surface of the moon. Uh, it would probably only weigh about 10 tons if it's only going to produce 100 kilowatt of power, so which means uh, this fission technology system uh, can go on a Falcon 9 Super Heavy and, uh, and be put into a lunar orbit. And we just have to figure out how to put it down on the surface of the moon. All right, Jose, so, so proponents say this is about winning the so-called second space race. Would you agree? And what is the ultimate goal here uh, by having a nuclear reactor on the moon? Nicole, uh, you know, we're going to retire the uh, International Space Station in 2030. And so the next uh, thing we're going to do is establish a long duration outpost on the surface of the moon. Why are we doing this? We're doing it because we have to test technologies and develop technologies that we're going to need to go to Mars and beyond. When we have that lunar base, it's going to create a whole lunar economy, uh, and we're going to need uh, surface power. And uh, solar panels can only get you so far. We, you could envision these 100-kilowatt small nuclear reactors daisy chain to, uh, to have enough power for whatever needs we may need on the surface of the moon. So it's very possible. We just have to throw resources at it and uh, make it happen. And make it happen. All right, so when it comes to energy, uh, we know that our president is certainly not a fan of alternatives like wind and solar. So let's just listen to some of what he said. Wind is the most expensive form of energy, and it destroys the beauty of your fields and your plains and your and your waterways. And they say that the blades, which are carbon, carbon fiber, you can't bury. Oh, OK, you can't bury. What are you going to do, dump them in the ocean someplace? But I've restricted windmills in the United States because uh, they also kill all your birds. It's a very expensive energy. It's a very ugly energy. And we won't allow it in the United States. All right, Jose, so, so how much of this do you think uh, his dislike of some of these other energy options could be playing into this goal for the moon, or do you think it's just two separate things, in your opinion? I think it's two separate things, Nicole. I think um, each type of energy has its uses in different environments. And, uh, and the president, of course, has his right to dislike uh, wind energy uh, altogether. But I think uh, every, every type of energy, including renewable energy, has its purpose and its applications in different environments. The moon, I think the only one you can, the only two you can consider is solar and, uh, and, and power from a nuclear, small nuclear reactor. Uh, now, depending where you are on the surface of the moon, solar may get you there in certain locations, but there's gonna be locations where the sun's gonna be very limited and you're actually gonna need uh, an energy source and the only other choice is a nuclear reactor. So I think uh, they can complement each other but I'm so excited, you know, having come back from a uh, coming from a nuclear background myself, I'm very happy that uh, that that we are going to uh, go full throttle on the development of a small nuclear reactor for the surface of the moon. Yeah. And according to the administration, by the year 2030. All right. Former yes. NASA astronaut 
Jose Hernandez. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.